in the dimly lit streets of Brooklyn, legends would whisper about Pappy Mason. Some said he was born with a gun in his hand, while others claimed he could charm the devil himself. But amidst the rumors and the fear, there was a story rarely told, the tale of a man behind the myth. This is the story of Pappy Mason. Pappy Mason wasn't always the feared figure prowling in the shadows of the borough. Long before his name echoed through the alleys, he was just a kid named Marcus, growing up in the tough streets of Bedford Stuyvesant. Raised by a single mother who worked double shifts just to put food on the table, Marcus learned early on that the world wasn't fair. As he navigated through the treacherous terrain of the neighborhood, Marcus found himself drawn to the allure of fast money and power. With each passing day, he drifted further and further from the path of righteousness and tangled in a web of crime that gripped the streets like a vice. But Marcus wasn't content with just being another face in the crowd. He had ambitions burning in his veins, a hunger for something more. And so he carved out his own path, rising through the ranks of local gangs with ruthless efficiency. It wasn't long before Marcus became known as Pappy Mason, a name whispered in fear and reverence. He ruled the streets with an iron fist. His word was law in the underworld of Brooklyn. But behind the facade of power and prestige, there lay a man hunted by his own demons. For all of his wealth and influence, Pappy Mason found himself alone in the darkness, surrounded by enemies and betrayers. The same streets that once embraced him now threatened to swallow him whole, leaving nothing but a legacy stained with blood and regret. In the end, Pappy Mason's story was a cautionary tale of the cost of chasing dreams drenched in the crimson hue of violence. He may have been a king to, in some eyes, but in his heart, he was nothing more than a lost soul searching for redemption in a world of devoid of mercy.